from around the globe. It's the Cube, covering HPE Discover Virtual Experience. Brought to you by HPE. Welcome to the Cube's coverage of HPE Discover 2020. This is the virtual experience. I'm Lisa Martin with the Cube, and I'm joined by a couple of guys who are going to talk through one of HPE's longest partnerships. We've got Shells Narayan and the Senior Director. Ecosystem Sales for North America at HPE, and Dr. Rajesh Srinivasan, the Global Head of Sales and Solutions for the TCS Cloud. Gentlemen, welcome to theCUBE. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you. So Charles, first question for you, as I mentioned, HPE and TCS have been partners for over 30 years. Talk to our audience about the partnership and how it has evolved to where it is today. Yeah, uh, thank you, Lisa. Yeah, firstly, you know, it, I'm pretty excited to be part of this CUBE interview with uh, Dr. Rajesh. Uh, you know, I know him personally for over five years, uh, you know, through various interactions uh, globally and, the, and this uh, new role uh, for North America. Uh, TCS is our strategic global system integrator partner, and this is a lo long standing partnership between HP and TCS. It has grown multifold over the last 30 years. Uh, we, you know, pretty much enjoyed every single, I would say, transactions or the business engagements what we have had so far. And we leverage each other for our internal IT requirements and also to drive joint go-to-market initiatives across the world, uh, thus making this a truly a 360 degree partnership. There is a lot of heritage, uh, mutual trust and respect between both organizations at all levels. And the complementary offerings, you know, which you will hear a lot more in the next couple of questions, uh, we bring to table together are very unique and very differentiating to the clients we jointly engage. Excellent. Dr. Rajesh, walk us through some of those joint offerings that TCS Cloud and HPE are delivering. Yeah, so first of all, uh, thanks. I, I just want to thank the HPE team for giving me the opportunity to talk to a larger audience. And in this new normal, this is the first time I'm doing an interview like this. So <laughs> thanks for that experience, actually. As Charles mentioned, uh, uh, this relationship goes a long way. Uh, I am talking about the larger TCS. We had a long relationship. And specifically on the TCS cloud, uh, we started this journey in a very, very <coughs> tactical way five years back. Uh, it was, it was uh, started in a very, very small uh, uh, trial and error basis. We started this relationship for TCS cloud. But at this point in time, after five years, we have taken this uh, into uh, a, a new norm, actually. So I'll give you a couple of examples. Uh, one of the examples is we have a very major uh, uh, retailer in Germany, uh, which we worked together. It was a multi-million dollar deal. And TCS and HPE has given a unique offering to the customer in the SAP HANA space. And that is really growing a lot. And that's the one offering I would like to uh, tell to the audience that really it has picked up and strengthened our relationship in the German region, right? Now we are trying to take that op uh, offering across uh, uh, the other, other regions also. So that is one of the key offerings which we are doing in. The other offerings are multiple offerings we are doing, but again, I want to highlight uh, the storage as a service offering, right? It's a very, very key in the industry today. And uh, we are experimenting that in the initial stages uh, uh, in Australia. We started in Australia as a small offering, and now we are expanding it in the US geography in a big way. And this year, uh, we are going to uh, make that as a uh, unique offering, and we are going to offer that uh, to all our cloud customers as a storage, as a, as a service offering also. So there are, there are multiple other offering, uh, Lisa, but uh, I just thought that I will highlight these two, which are making our business uh, uh, we are making a lot of business together with these two offerings. Is the, the uh, SAP opportunity that you mentioned, is that the HANA as a service that TCS is delivering? That's correct. That's correct. So it's a HANA as a service, but the uniqueness of that particular offering is uh, we jointly created the architecture so that uh, the customer can uh, use that like a service as a service model, right? So, so it was it was not available that time in the industry so easily, like what we have offered at that point in time. Two, two and a half years back, we offered that particular service to the customer. And interestingly, <clears throat> that particular offering, the customer was using SAP themselves as a service initially, and they migrated that to us actually. 
from SAP, we took the service and uh, both HP and TCS uh, service the customer on the SAP HANA platform. So that's the that's the interesting story on the topic. If we dig into that just a little bit further, I want the audience to understand the impact that this partnership has, HPE and TCS delivering HANA as a service for your customers. What are the benefits there than what the customer, as you said, was doing previously? Yeah, see, I think I just want to highlight uh, three or four uh, points that make uh, this offering very unique and uh, that helps the customer. Uh, number one is uh, as a service model. So the customer has got the complete flexibility of uh, going up and down like a true cloud model, right? Uh, so which is a very uh, unique proposition at that point in time uh, where the customer need not have to worry about uh, 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 using less for some time and then using more sometimes. So it's kind of a complete flexible model that we offered at the time. Number two is uh, it's a complete customization is possible. It is not like a, a fixed architecture. The architecture is uh, so flexible so that uh, the customer business needs can be met through the architectural changes. So it is not like uh, normally people think that cloud is highly standardized architecture, right? So that has gone out and we were given a flexible uh, architecture for the customer. That is the number two. Number three, obviously the cost. Uh, end of the day, it is a business case which we need to make it work right for the customer. So obviously, with the TCS and HP coming together, we were able to give the cost advantage to the customer. That is the third uh, advantage of that. The last but not the least is the quality of service. Right? It is. It is all about. Uh, I always used to tell um, uh, my partners that selling is easy. Um, uh, delivering it is what it's important. It is which will make the customer to stick with you. Right. So we have given a delivery quality experience to uh, our customer uh, so that I think that makes a very unique proposition from a technology perspective, from a pricing perspective, from an architecture perspective, and also from the delivery perspective. So those are the few, few things uh, uh, I just thought that I will highlight it here. Excellent. So a couple of words that you mentioned popped into my mind as really even more, we'll have a different meeting as we're in summer 2020, flexibility and unique offering. Charles, back to you, from a go-to-market perspective, how is that relationship with HP and TCS changing in the COVID era? Oh yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. You know, I would like to quote an example of, uh, you know, what TCS has achieved themselves, uh, you know, during the COVID times. Uh, you know, it also came in the, in the press about close to 90% of the workforce were 100% productive, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they have a plan to go. 75% uh, of the employees, you know, uh, go, being remote by 2025, right? So that's a journey they're taking on. And another thing which we noticed is a uh, lot of the, you know, during the COVID times, many of the customers were looking for solutions like virtual desktop infrastructure. So they wanted their employees to be productive while they are at home. And in the other area of focus was like BCP. You know, how do I kind of make sure all the applications are available to the customers and also to their internal organizations, et cetera. So we've seen you know, a lot of, uh, I would say, engagement with the TCS architecture team and also the solution team uh, to address these requirements of the market jointly. When we look at certain things that now might even be more important uh, with this new normal, if you will, that the fact that most companies are still in phase one of this work, everyone works from home, trying to get to a phase two that might see some, some maybe by function uh, groups coming back to the office and then getting to this third, maybe it's the new nirvana of, of some hybrid workforce where there's going to be some that come back permanently and some that don't. Um, Antonio Neri, uh, Charles, I saw was quoted last month as saying yeah. he thinks that 50% of the workforce will only 50% will come back. So in this new, not only hybrid IT environment in which your customers live, but now this new pending hybrid workforce environment, how are you addressing some of the concerns together with respect to the network, connectivity, security? So uh, I'll, I'll just take that question. I think it's a very, very interesting, Lisa, when, when we all ended up in this pandemic uh, in March, we were very, very nervous actually, because uh, uh, everyone has to uh, operate remotely. And we are we are dealing with the customer's data. 
it's uh, it's very very important that uh, we have a high secured environment to access uh, the information and at the same time maintain the integrity of the data and also the quality of services right so those are the two primary uh, objective for us we don't want to compromise on quality we don't want to compromise on security from a cloud perspective so the solution we have put in very i just give you one example there was one airline uh, a uk based the airline industry airline company uh, which uh, they need their workforce uh, overnight they want everybody to go uh, remote because you know uk uh, uh, they just put a uh, condition that nobody can work uh, from the office overnight and the entire workforce has to uh, work work from home so tcs implemented uh, the solution for them on our cloud overnight and make their 1000 employees to work from home the next day morning all of them started working uh, with the full uh, quality of services and also with the full security aspects of it has been taken care of overnight on the solution we have deployed for them very interesting case study and uh, the the important thing we have done is use the technology to the core use all kinds of technology to make sure that uh, the employees uh, uh, work from home we took care of uh, the network connectivity we took care of uh, uh, the security aspects of uh, the data from the security aspects we have implemented all the security functions from a vdi perspective virtual desktop perspective and make the workforce uh, uh, enable that but now you are talking about uh, uh, millions of millions of workers going to work from home right because this is one example for one company we have done that now tcs themselves has got more than 400 uh, thousand employees and we are talking about uh, uh, millions of uh, uh, workforce uh, going to work from home uh, going forward so that is i am seeing this as a big opportunity it's not that everybody has addressed this at this point in time i am seeing this as an opportunity where uh, uh, the cloud uh, tcs cloud kind of a, a solution is going to help them to achieve this and this is a great opportunity for not only for TCS, but also for HPE, because uh, the solution we are putting together with the HPE is more on the digital workforce, how we can enable the people to work from home, not compromising on, as I mentioned, from a security perspective and compliance perspective. So I'm seeing this as a, a, a opportunity for both the organization. And it's a long way to go. Lisa, we need to work on this. It's not a, we don't have a magic wand to make the millions of workers to work from home but it is going to evolve soon and probably in the next uh, uh, year or so uh, we may achieve this entire 50 percent uh, of the workforce is going to go uh, uh, remotely on this visa so that's that's what uh, my take on this is so the impact that hpe and tcs are being able to make for customers who've had to massively transform their entire workforce overnight, as you said, to work from home. Talk to me about some of the new, maybe new solution or new business opportunities that HPE sees partnering with TCS. Shells, we'll start with you in this new era. Yeah. So uh, if you look at it, you know, just taking it uh, again, an extension of uh, Dr. Rajesh, what he just mentioned about uh, the percentage of employees going remote, uh, Lisa. Uh, across industries today, I would say it's less than 20% of the employees are actually uh, working remote or they have the ability or the organizations have the ability to support the employees going remote. And if we have to take it to 50%, so you can look at the kind of opportunity we have uh, both as HPE and as TCS. So we bring in a lot of best and breed infrastructure from uh, for enabling the employee workforce in our various, I would say, capacity of workloads and it's all workload specific. Uh, and what TCS does is, or what, when we work with TCS, we kind of bundle that uh, creating a, a reference architecture or a joint architect, architecture, addressing the customers by industry vertical. So because one, what suits for one vertical may not be really uh, suiting well for a different vertical, right? For example, if we take a, a banking sector, a trader workstation solution would look very different from somebody is doing a remote work in a retail industry, right? So we kind of continuously engage with uh, TCS and that's where both of us have a joint lab as well, where our technologists and TCS technologists come together, put to working on joint solutions and assessing the market in terms of where the opportunity lies 
and we offer this as part of TCS uh, digital workplace offering. Are your conversations, Dr. Rajesh will go to you, are your conversations when you're jointly selling changing in terms of who your audience is? Is this now a C-level conversation since these leaders, and we've heard the leaders of Google and Facebook already last month saying work from home extended till 2021. Is this now at the C-suite level where you guys are helping them really understand how to completely change and digitize their entire way of doing business? Absolutely, I think it's a great question, uh, Lita. Actually, the opportunity goes beyond uh, the work from home solution, as you rightly pointed out that it is, it is all about digitization. It is all about digitizing their whole business process. It is not any more uh, infrastructure or uh, an application solution. It is more about redefining their business process, redefining the way the business is going to operate in future is the discussion we are having. So a lot of these discussions are happening uh, at a very, very uh, high level and with the business team also directly. So earlier you used to interact with the, the technology partners of our organization, but now we are interacting directly with the, the head of business or the C-level uh, exec of the company. And that is the reason, the exact reason is uh, uh, you, if you want your workforce to be productive remotely, you can't just offer them a network and you can't offer them just a solution to work from home, but you need to redefine your whole business process. You need to, you need to digitize your uh, infrastructure. You need to digitize your application. You need to rethink your whole uh, uh, process of you are operating on it. So that's where I'm seeing it's not only an opportunity for uh, uh, players like a TCS cloud, but it is an opportunity for a bigger uh, opportunity for TCS and HP not only in terms of uh, uh, an infrastructure or a cloud business, it goes beyond that, Lisa. So uh, that is that is the kind of an opportunity we are seeing, especially in the in the sectors of healthcare. You are seeing major reforms are happening in the healthcare industry as we speak, and obviously manufacturing is going to go through a lot of changes also from that. And retail obviously has gone through a lot of changes already uh, in terms of online uh, uh, stuff, but now that also going to go through uh, changes in this uh, new era. Yes. I have to ask you, Shells, talking about redefining, that's a word that we've seen so many years in a row at tech conferences, right? This technology redefining this business or that industry. And now of course we're being redefined by an invisible um, virus. But how is, how is the sales process being redefined? Is it a lot more accelerated because businesses have to put together new plans to continue operations? Yeah, again, uh, a great question, Lisa. This, ha you have to, you know, I would say it's divided by industry verticals. Uh, it's not a uniform thing by, as Dr. Rajesh was saying, every industry has got its own, its own set of challenges and its own set of opportunities. And some of them are really actually doing well, in, even in times like COVID. And some of them have seen uh, really, I mean, if you like travel uh, or transportation or, you know, some of those industries are, and even hospitality, that's kind of affected big time. So our, our view of, you know, the entire sales engagement or a process is we are spending more time on where we, we really need to focus and which can help improve the businesses, right? So the conversations vary from how do I take the cost out in terms of how can I make little more investment to get greater returns from the business. So it's like, it's a completely, uh, I would say an interesting time and engaging conversations and decisions are happening. So we, if you look at us uh, from a North America perspective, the entire HP sales team is armed with various virtual tools. Like we you know we use Zoom, we use Skype, we use MS Teams. So all the tools available to make sure that we are able to connect with all our partners and customers uh, and to enable a joint business together in the market. I just want to add to it, Lisa, one, one, one point I want to add. Very interesting change I am seeing on the sales is uh, normally we respond to uh, ask from a customer. That is the way sales happens. I want this. Can you guys do it? And then um, uh, what you can give us a solution. That is the normal sales process. What I have seen that has changed completely is we go and tell the customer this is what you need actually to make you yourself your business better this is the new offerings i am having it 
and this offering is going to help you to solve the problem what you are having today. So we are engaging a different level of sales conversation today with our customer. Uh, we know the problem of the customer because we are working with them uh, for many years and we know exactly what they are going through. And we also know what new offerings we are having in this. So we are engaging a discussion with the customer telling that this is my new offering. This is going to help you to solve this problem. So there is a different angle of sales we are seeing nowadays in this pandemic. So last question, Chels, to you. We, we started our interview today talking about the, the HPE TCS relationship. We You've talked about how it's evolved. Last question for you, talk to me about HPE's strategy. How does it match TCS's Alpha Cloud offering? Yeah, uh, so again, a great question, Lisa. Uh, if you look at our strategy is to accelerate uh, the enterprises with edge-centric and cloud-enabled solutions, which are workload opti optimized, and delivered everything as a service. And whatever you heard from Dr. Rajesh through this entire conversation was about how do we give as a service model. He gave an example of HANA. Uh, he gave an example of you know going uh, optimizing workloads for uh, VDI and getting employees uh, to be able to be productive remotely. And all of it kind of extremely resonate well with you know what TCS Alpha Enterprise Cloud offering uh, is bringing to the table for the customers. And the underlying platform, you know, we kind of collaborate extensively and closely with uh, the TCS architecture team uh, to have the HP portfolio of, you know, the compute and storage por portfolio integrated as part of their offering. And we go together to market, you know, uh, and addressing and kind of an as service model to the end customers. Excellent. Well, Shells, Dr. Rajesh, pleasure talking with you both today about what TCS and HPE are doing together and some of the ways that you're really helping businesses move forward in these uncertain times. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Lisa, you. for all the questions. Thanks, Shells. Thank you, Dr. Rajesh. Absolutely. Thank you very much. For my you. guests, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of HPE Discover 2020, the virtual experience. Thanks for watching.